Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Daya Koenig and today we are talking about research methods. <coughs> to be more exact, the sequential analysis. <coughs> I know, I know, it might not sound fun, but I'll take you through this in less than five minutes and then you'll realize how exciting and fun research can be. First of all, I'm going to introduce the method. What is sequential analysis? Second, we're going to talk about the work it's being used for, so where you can apply the method. Thirdly, the advantages and limitations of the method. And last but not least, key authors and texts that you can copy and, I mean, um, reference from. FBI, open up! Just kidding, peeps. Always reference your sources. First of all, what is mixed research? Mixed methods are necessary to truly account for the, both the individual experiences and the systematic reality that continually recreate social stratification alongside multiple loci of oppression. Can you maybe repeat the middle and the beginning and the end? Bruh. In simple English, it basically means it's a research method that allows you to explore a problem in multiple ways. Ah, got it. There are about 44 documented mixed methods. But do not worry, John Crest will narrow it down to six major ones. Shout out to you, John. We shall focus on the first two ones, the sequential explanatory and exploratory for the premises of this video. For both sequential explanatory and sequential exploratory, you take the best of both worlds, so meaning qualitative and quantitative research, into consideration at the same time. As the name already implies, it inherits succession, a sequence of two distinct phases within the same study. Let's look at sequential explanatory first. First step is to gather and analyze the numerical data, the quantitative aspect. The second step is the conducting of qualitative research to help elaborate the findings from the quantitative research. At the intermediate stage, both findings from qualitative and quantitative are going to be combined. In this method, the quantitative precedes the qualitative and is being prioritized. If you understood this one, it's easier to understand the sequential exploratory because basically it's just being turned around. Because in sequential exploratory, the qualitative precedes the quantitative. As simple as that. Now that we covered this aspect, let's talk about where this method is being used for. Especially sequential explanatory research method is one of the most popular methods in research circles. Okay. Both research methods are especially useful when the researcher is interested in following up the, for example, quantitative data with qualitative results. Um, to clarify the findings from the former analysis. This approach is also worth considering if you want to create an overall more robust analysis. Some researchers argue that neither quantitative or qualitative data on their own are sufficient to deliver results on their own. So by combining them, you have more flavors to explore. It also helps to somewhat generalize qualitative data because it's usually less subject to be applied to a wider range. Also, this method comes in quite handy when designing or validating a new instrument. In research jargon, an instrument is a tool to obtain, measure, and analyze data from subjects around the research topic. It is also good for exploring new phenomena. The advantages. As previously outlined, it gives a more robust analysis, a deeper insight into the problem. It also helps you to overcome limitations of one research design by combining them. The limitations. First of all, it's really time consuming. 2000 years later. So if you choose this method, make sure to make some space in your calendar. Another difficulty is the stage at when quantitative and qualitative data are being combined. We are almost through, but to help you get started, here are some key authors and texts you can use as references. That's it, guys. That was my take on sequential analysis. I hope 
it was helpful. It was a pleasure for me to say the least and have fun doing your research. Anyways, bye bye. <coughs>